Hi, I am Praveen Khatan. I represent iPlan Education. Today, in technical analysis, we're going to learn types of stop loss. So, what is stop loss? Stop loss is a point where you must exit your treat. That means you must admit your treat went wrong. So it means that whatever analysis or observation you have done, even though you are actually facing losses. And it's a point you should exit and save from further losses. A stop loss is must when we're trading based on technical analysis or even on fundamental analysis. Stop loss helps you in saving your capital. So if your capital is saved, you can trade next time. And as a rule of probability out of four trades, one trade will be in your favor. So what happens is to be a long-term trader, to stay longer in the market, you must place stop loss. There are majorly four types of stop losses. Percentage stop loss, or a level or a chart stop loss, volatility stop loss, and time stop. Now, what is a percentage stop loss? Very simple. As a rule of thumb, few people limit losses not more than 2% of the total trade value. However, this may not always work as you might have taken high leverage and this is only good for unlevelized products. Let's say you are trading in currency future. And if you are taking 1 is 200 leverage, that means 2% loss could be of around 200%. If you are taking 5 times leverage, that means your losses could be 10%. So, we normally recommend that you should not use percentage stop loss when you are using leverage products. This is good for unleveraged products. That means you are if investing in equity market and spot or commodity spot or currency spot market then you can apply it. See why 2%? See what happens is we have seen on an average no stocks move more than 2% or I can say like Average daily volatility of any stock is around 2%. Another thing is that, let's say if you're investing 100 rupees in the market and you are coming out if your trade went wrong at 98, then eventually what will happen? You have 98 rupees next time to invest in the market. If you have bigger stock losses, what will happen? Your capital will be vanished very soon. So what happens is you should can use percentage stop losses when you are investing into equity and you have no other idea how to use the stops. So this could be better one, a good one for those who do not know technical analysis or any other kind of volatility measurements. The another type is level or chart stops. This is widely used by chartist or technical analyst and this is actually an art to use a stop loss. So first you have to find a level okay, and you have to put few points below or above the level. However, determining the correct level needs skills little practice and a little experience. Let's see how we can put a stop loss on a chart. This is a Euro USD daily chart. Let's take example one. 
we can see here there is a support level we can see there another support level so what happens is when price bounce back from a level we normally enter into a trade and we put stop loss below the support level so normally you should not put stops at levels it should be few points below support level if you want to say how much percentage below support level you can take maximum a quarter percent or even less so because it's a level so price will not go below that those guys who cannot take bigger risk they can at least wait for one single candle which is completely formed below the support level and then exit the market now let's take another example we see here a resistance level in case we buy above breakout normally when there is a breakout above resistance level it is suggested that you can buy however you can take a stop loss at the previous low not the previous candle or the previous low which is a minor support but which can work as a good stop loss for you so instead of taking previous candle as a stop loss you should take at least previous low as a stop loss we see another support level here and if you buy here you can take stop loss below the support level in this example we can see the resistance level has turned into a support level so this is basically called a change in polarity in another example we see the same chart euro usd daily we see there is a resistance level and when you see a resistance level and you see a confirmation to short you can short actually below the resistance level in this case what happens if the price goes up we face losses because we are bearish in this market and if the price goes down we make profit the price goes up we make losses in that situation the stop loss will be few points above the resistance level few points above the resistance level will work let's say if you do not put a stop loss above the resistance level we can see here what happens <coughs> here there is a breakout if this could be the situation here there was a breakout we couldn't have faced huge losses because we can see there is a high rally here now again you can see here a resistance level in this case also what happens we can put a short position below stop loss sorry short position below resistance and a stop loss above resistance level so in case of buy long position you put stop loss below support level and in case of resistance you put stop loss above resistance level so if you short you put stop loss above resistance if you buy you put stop loss below support now there is another stop loss which is called a volatility stop loss if a <coughs> prices are going into a range okay trading in a range there could be average volatility and it could be taken as a stop if range breaks it's time to exit the market so can be a good method if you use with chart stops average to range is a good indicator to gauge the volatility in the market let's say the average daily volatility is around 1% for last few days 
and you will see on some days suddenly it goes above one percent let's say one and a half percent or one and a quarter percent it's better that you can exit the market however only in case of your losses not in the case of profits okay so this is also used if you include average true range with a chart stop loss that can give you a far better idea to put the exact stop loss levels so obviously this all comes into advanced technical analysis we're gonna learn all this in future now the another one is time stop As scalpers and intraday traders uh, widely use it it needs a throw steady before you apply time stop however also high discipline is required when applying time stops because let's say if you have set I'll take whatever profit is there in five minutes and I'll exit if there is whatever loss in next two minutes or three minutes so you have to do it you cannot say oh let's see a little more let's see a little more and your losses will be increasing increasing so you need high discipline and you are taking time stops okay again time stop needs also practice when you are using a long term investment it's normally not recommended to use stops time stops if you are a scalper jobber i think you should put time stops in your strategies however you need a little practice with time stops and how do you execute stops there are two major ways one is automatic automatic is you put a stop loss order in trading system and when that price limit is reached your system your automatic system that trading software places an order into the exchange and your stop loss is triggered and your position is closed another one is a manual stop loss you keep the level in your mind and then feed the data manually into the trading system normally if you are trading in intraday or you are doing scalping you should use automatic stops and when you are investing long term you don't have to use automatic stops ok long term investor you simply keep your level in mind ok now stops need careful study and if you want to really execute find out the minute levels the good correct level if you need more help feel free to visit us on iplanonline.in or give us a call thank you have a nice day take care